vacuuming the forest. <laughs> okay, guys, you are not gonna believe this. So, back here, can you guys see back here? Out of Goshen is getting a little bit of footage for us, hopefully. This guy is vacuuming the forest. Seriously. He is like blowing all the leaves off his character. Can you show? He's running by with the vacuum. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the kid is running around with the vacuum. They're vacuuming the forest. I'm sorry. I am not OCD enough to vacuum the forest. It is. <laughs> They're just keeping Mississippi clean. <laughs> So show it right here. Show the forest. What I mean, how are you gonna vacuum all this? But they are. They're vacuuming all of it. They're gonna end up having a hole in the ground because obviously they don't have enough kids. Because they have way too much time on their hands. Maybe Natalie needs to hand them a wipe. So if you ever watch Monk, you know how Natalie's always handing Adrian a wipe. We should go take out a package of wipes. Okay, we just thought that was crazy. But we've been trying to do stuff out here, and for like, what, half an hour so far, they've been vacuuming the yeah. forest. Yeah, so they, so, here, so, so, Mike, tell, tell, so we keep trying to film. And I was telling Tara, now, who would have thought we'd be out in the middle of the woods in Mississippi trying to interview people, and we'd have to say, well, somebody's vacuuming the forest over there, so we can't get any good audio right now. Okay, so we're gonna, oops, how do I turn this around? We're gonna go in and film, and then we'll come back out, and hopefully it will be done back in the forest. It better be spotless. <laughs> we're gonna do a little we're gonna check it. white glove check to make sure there's no dirt see, on that yeah, ground. No, out. no, no dust at all. There's dirt can be there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Hello, so I am here with Out of Goshen. Hey. We're actually in the same town. We came for Deep South Homestead Spring Gathering, and I wanted to fill their little tiny camper, so they're actually living in this tiny camper. So, tell them what you guys are doing, because I think it's pretty cool myself. So. <laughs> we are searching for our homestead, and basically, uh, for us to be able to get around and see the best way we can, we bought this camper, travel the country, see some sights, and just uh, spend time with the family and enjoy until we find that homestead we're looking for. So you're actually living in your camper selling your house right now right so you may have no home to go home to no, no. we are we're homeless people yeah so <laughs> there's nothing in the home if we wanted to go back <laughs> so you're gonna have to find your we home are. so we now are. you're a family of eight basically living in a tiny house on wheels yes we are family of eight two dogs and a cat oh my goodness <laughs> wow <laughs> you guys are braver people than us <laughs> oh my goodness that's funny yeah so we're gonna take a tour of their little tiny house here on wheels and see because they actually have some really cool organizing ideas and I wanted to show you guys because I was pretty fascinated myself. So let's get started on our little tiny house on wheels tour. Okay, okay. so we were just talk talking about this with two family homestead about outdoor kitchens. And I was gonna have you guys show us, so how do you have your outdoor kitchen set up? Because I think this is pretty cool actually. It is really cool, especially when we're traveling in the south and things get kind of warm. We come out here and, and do our fixings. And uh, this is one of the things we liked about this particular camper is it came with this kitchen that folds out, two burner stove, um, lots of extra storage, whatever griddle and stuff we keep in there. Of course, an air fryer. Oh, so you don't have to take it from outside. You can just leave it here. And yeah, drive. Oh, exactly. yep. that's brilliant. Now, one of the things we're gonna change as we've been on this camper for going on a month now, this fridge is only on when we're staying in a campground. So when you travel, everything here gets warm. So I've already unbolted it. We're going to take it out and we're going to buy an ice maker that makes like 20 pounds of ice a day. So that way we can fill up our cooler to make lots of cold stuff that way instead. And a bread machine. Because again, one of the reasons having this kitchen outside is it doesn't get the camper really hot inside. You know, and there's, you know, there's only so much room inside anyway also. So having a bread machine, even though we like to bread, bake bread in the oven, uses propane gas. But a bread machine, electricity in the campgrounds are always free. So we're going to set up a bread machine and ice maker right here soon to actually make more space for us to be able to fix what we need to to prepare our food every day. So then you have your crock pot on a little table over here. And are you fixing most of your meals outside or just... Yeah, yeah, yeah I would yeah, say most. most. Yeah, as long as it's not raining. Mm -hmm. we're out, outside. Yeah, yeah, we're outside. Cool. Okay. okay. Hello, guys. So I am here with Out of Goshen again. And... I'm talking to them about, is it actually financially 
feasible to buy a trailer and travel with your family on the road. So I have no idea what I'm gonna say now. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me try again. Okay. Hello guys. Wait, hold on a second. Why don't you stand a little closer? closer. Thank you. Yes, I want gotcha. Okay. Hello guys, I am here with Out of Goshen. You need to go check out their YouTube channel. They are a family of eight that are selling, they've sold their house, well, are selling their house. They bought a camper trailer and they're traveling looking for a homestead. Yes. So they're traveling all around the country looking for a homestead. So we're going to talk with them for just a little bit to see, is it actually feasible financially to do this? Because this is crazy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people want to do that, you yeah, know? So, okay. Thing. So we're going to give you some information on how they did this. That was not very good, but. Well. Sassy hands. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, it sounds like this is actually fairly financially feasible, but here's my condition. Cash, people. If you're not gonna do this with cash, I do not recommend financing it, mm -hmm. but I don't recommend financing anything. <laughs> so, if you have the cash to do it, I think it would financially be worth it, but you know, put it on paper and see. I think you could do it if you pay cash. Go check out Out of Goshen on YouTube and subscribe to their channel. Please subscribe, like, and share with us. Visit us at livingiodime.com and we'll see you guys next time. I don't know. All right, come along. <laughs> oh man, it is cool in here. Yeah, we have the AC going. So. Cool as a meat or cool as a meat? <laughs> Both, actually. I know, I was like, see their little sign? <laughs> it's so cute. So we're in their tiny house on wheels, and you want to start with the clothes? Yeah, I'll show you okay. the kids' clothes. All right, let's see this. All right. So we love this camper because it had a lot of storage, which was a big plus for me. So we went and we shopped at thrift stores and the commissary and Walmart, and we bought like every box you, or basket you could imagine. I love baskets. So what I did is I took each of the children and they each got a basket for their pajamas, their swim clothes, their underwear and socks. And then they each have matching clothes down here. And so whatever fits in this area is all they could bring. So that was a little hard for some of the kids because they had more clothes than we needed. But it's easier for laundry and it's going to be. So there's David's. So how many days worth of clothes do you have for each kid? I have about two and a half weeks because. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, because um, oh, wow. sometimes we find we go into parks and they have water restrictions. Um, you can't dump the gray water on the ground. Uh or they don't have laundry. So I knew that was going to happen. So I tried to plan ahead that we would have enough clothing that it wouldn't uh, harm us or the kids would be like, we don't have enough clothes. I so, can't believe you got two and a half weeks in there. That's yes. Great. So like here's Jenna's, um, all her stuff and then her outfits. And like with her, to even save on space, I matched the hair bows to match the clothes. There you go. Good. So <laughs> it saves space even for that. So that's that. And then Sam's, his is a little bit more messier, but we went with two baskets for him. And then, because his clothes are more grown-up clothes, and they don't fit as easy in the smaller baskets. Okay, so I see three kids here, but where's the other three? The other, the, the girls are over here on the couch, yes. so here. would you like to show them this? Couch. Yes. All right, and this is cool because it's all storage. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then this half is Naomi's side, and then this half is my side. And so we just got our shirts, PJs, and we even keep a couple pair of shoes. And then we've got, like, some hobby stuff in here. Yeah, they, got so it book, and she's got a hobby bin. And the same and, with them. They have about yeah. two and a half weeks worth of clothes as well. Okay. And so that, and then that and folds then, out to yeah, a full-size bed. It folds out into the bed. So then that's where Naomi sleeps. Okay. So we have lots of spacing for that. Okay. And then, cool. um, and here too, we also bought uh, little baskets here, lots of baskets. So we and have, that one's got some movies in it. Movies in here. And we have card games. And then this is kind of just kind of, I guess you would say, junk. Our postcards and camera stuff that we have left over. And then we have our plastic silverware that we can either take outside or in here. So we've so done with nice. that. So okay. Where did you get those? Those are really nice. We bought those at Old Time Pottery. Oh, which I don't know. <laughs> I've never guessed. We okay. love those. They did. That was all they had were the four. We would have bought more and it would have like fit a lot more. So up here, this is kind of like our snack disaster. Chip bell <laughs> bars, trail mix. Uh, we yeah. have noodles up there. and Yeah, yeah and the, the, because this was the first one they'd ever made, they actually forgot to put the doors on. So oh. 
The doors actually match those, and those are on order. So we're okay. waiting for them to come in, and then they'll close that, which will be nice. But the same thing here. We have baskets. But we went ahead and went to Walmart the other day, and we stocked up for the week for, for snacks and lunches. Okay. Since we eat here, you know, for our size family, we pretty much go through a bag of chips for a lunch. Yeah. yeah. So even so, though they're family size, they're really only half full. So wait a minute. You get a whole week's worth of groceries in here? Yes. Yes. So you only shop once a week? Yes. And you have all your food for a week? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Wow. And so I plan out my meals, and I'll go through, and I'll say, okay, this is what we're having for dinner. And then I'll go to the store and I'll buy whatever ingredients I need to have. And mm -hmm. then uh, we know, okay, for lunches, we're hating this, we're doing this. And then that's all there for that. And wow, that's a big pantry, pantry right here. Yes. And then this is full of our pantry. Oh, oh wow. So and we've got these, which has got like flour and sugar and certain powders. Yes. Okay. And then we keep, and there are a lot of canned foods in this area. Yeah. Peanut butter, tomato okay. sauce, things like that. I was bummed because I had a really cool mason jar, or uh, canning ball jar, like a huge mm. one, I had oatmeal on it. The first trip we took, the door opened, and it uh, fell and shattered. It wasn't close so all the way. So, we were like, okay, we have to invest in plastic uh, containers, yeah. so that way if they fall, it doesn't break. They're really so. helpful. Okay, I have to admit, when I saw you guys talking about packing this up, I saw some of the glass containers, yes. and I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. Honestly, that's the only and one that's broke. I was wondering broke. about that. That's the only one that broke, and it's because we took a sharp corner and we didn't have it thing, oh. and it fell. And literally everything fell out of the pantry. Poor Naomi, she was like for forty minutes trying to rearrange and put everything back. <laughs> so that's the pantry for the food. So we can honestly fit our size family for that. Sometimes we'll run to the store, but we're trying to get down what we really need and what we don't need, and um, it helps us go through food. So one week of food is in the refrigerator. This little cubby and this little cubby. And, and then over here. here, here, which is bread and, and this is bread and, and tortillas, and bagels, bowls. and things like that. So okay. this is our, this is because I would say our like bread cupboard almost. Okay. So okay. because our size family, we eat one loaf for a lunch. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll have to go and get four or five loaves of bread. Oh, you have the important things. <laughs> the yes. Hershey's. You got to have this for s'mores. The important things. Yes. So. That's great with that. And then uh, we have the little shelves that we bought that hold the stuff. This so. is the kind of thing. So you guys added. We did. These things. This is what I saw your video on you guys figuring out what you were going to do. And I thought that was pretty impressive. So you just went around. So let's talk about this for a minute. Show us the things that you added to give yourself more storage in your trailer. Okay. Well, that was definitely a shelf. We bought two of them. The second one is over here above the door. And that is for flashlights. Um, our walkie talkies because we found that it was being all piled on the counter and then it was becoming too much of a mess So we got that one and then this was the other thing. This was a cool wall, but it was completely useless And so we went and we Wait, bought, it was just a plain wall It was just a, it had the mirror, but other than that, I mean it had this shelf But that, I mean it was just it had didn't have any use for it and I'm like we can't even put any couldn't put a crock pot or anything on it so we're like, what can we do? And Eric had the great idea of hanging up shelves and baskets and putting everything in it. And I, I love your attention rod. That is brilliant. Yes. So everything doesn't, doesn't fall, fall out. Down. And it's honestly supposed to be taken out so it doesn't look, but we've left it in. So. Actually, that's a really good idea, though. So um, all of this is food for... This is all food. This is all yeah, food. All yeah, food. we just okay. have, like, um, a lot of this stuff is, like, uh, stuff from Trim Healthy Mama. And things like that, certain sweeteners and okay. protein powders and things like that. Okay. okay, so then what do you have down in these cabinets? These are extra storage too. We have the kids' books and puzzles, things like that. Because you guys homeschool. We do homeschool, and it was a little harder for the littler ones to get rid of some of their stuff, and so it was easier to just go ahead and pick out a stack of stuff like that. And then in here we have our spices and our coffee. We okay. are big coffee drinkers. Pull that one a little hard. That one's a little tight. And that's our tea and our coffee. So um, there you go. we are set for tea and coffee. Good. So, I see the Clarence sticker on the coffee. Yes. Very good. Yes. <laughs> My I'm, favorite aisle. I'm always <laughs> about that. And then in here we have um, this so, is... Let me show real quick on the outside here. So you guys added these, right? We did add these. And then you got these on clearance. I, don't, I think we got them at, um, what was that place? Uh, I can't think of this place. It was a cheap outlet store, uh -huh. and I think we paid three bucks for it. And I saw in these here. Those we got at Walmart, and too. Stuff. And I was having the hardest time with, we store, I'll show you in here, our um, plates and things like that. And now, the shelf we put And the there. shelf we put in there. We went ahead and put um, every person, to make, so we didn't yeah. have a disease, yeah. has their own color 
uh, for their cups, plates, and bowl, and even their silverware. So then we also know who didn't do their dishes. Oh, so, so everybody does their own dishes? On the most part. The little ones uh, yeah. we're working on with them. But yes, everybody's supposed to do their own dishes. Or if that gets it, then somebody has to do the dishes for the day. So Ooh, good job. it depends. Yeah. So um, okay. it's lots of room, but it was easier oh, to do the paper and plates. And you even hung your... I did, but that thing, every time we open it, it comes out. So we're going to have to re-adjust it. Get a command it. hook. Yeah, we do. We love coming out. Yeah. So, but we hung up our stuff there. Yeah. So we're really, oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to vitalize our space as best we go. can. So. And part of that, you just have to do as you're kind of going. We, yeah, we found a few things that, wow, this doesn't work so well. Yeah, okay, so show us this closet. All right, this is kind of a catch-all, honestly, but it's mostly the school uh, closet. We have, like, the kids' artwork. This is Sam's stuff. This is Hannah's. This is Naomi's. This is my stuff. And we have, like, our vitamins and my essential oils. And the girls and I really love, we had to, I'm not sure if you're into washi tape or no, not. So what, okay, so this is totally off subject, but what do you, these are so cute and I love them, but what do you do with them? Well, they do quote journals and things like that in my menus and oh, things like that. We decorate okay. with them. That is so and cute. And we just buy them off of Hobby Lobby when they're yeah. our parents, so. I just wondered what people use them yeah. for, because I know they have a ton, I'm like, what are we yeah. using them for? Yeah, so. the girls like them more than I do, but yeah. um, we do that. And then everybody has their, their coats that hang up. Um, they have one coat they can hang up here and then and an extra coat in here. And the shoes, we try to stay organized, but honestly, they end up getting thrown in there mostly. So yeah. if we can close the door, it's out of the way. We're good. Yeah, that's good. And then this, which is so cool about, is all extra storage. So this oh, whole wow. wrap around, not only does it f fold down to a full-size bed, mm -hmm. but it's all storage inside. The back one, we have stuff back there that we really don't want to get to because then you have to upload everything. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a pain. But we have all of our, we normally store the crock pot in here. If we're not using it, we have our mm -hmm. rice bottles. Yep. We have air fryer that usually goes in here Our too. extra oils or flour on our Thrive stuff that's in the back there. So. Yeah, wow. That's so cool. it really has a lot of storage. When you now, you guys it. didn't add this. This came, nope, this came with it. And this is one yeah. of the reasons why we chose this one is because it had a full um, wraparound seat so everybody could sit. And we have two fold-out chairs that, that Sam and David fit. Pull they they just the for, for the meals they pull out and it sits here. And this sits the two chairs. Two chairs the and high chair right here. High chair. So all eight of you can fit. All eight of us sit in wow. here if it's raining. Or, and then Corbin has his high chair. And then Corbin has his high chair. Okay. Now I have an order when we get these doors too. Two doors that fit here as well because you do have to move all the cushions to get yeah. in there. So I'm putting in a door here and a door there to once they come in so that way you can. Just get some grab it stuff instead easier of and quicker yeah. without taking apart the whole Put thing. Put the stuff you use frequently at the front. Exactly. Okay, okay. So, can, can you, you show us how everyone sleeps? Because eight people in this little camper, you're like, how's this working? I know. So. <laughs> okay. We actually had company last weekend, and so we even slept 10. So it was awesome. Wow. So it was really cool. And they were full size guys, so wow. it wasn't like little kids. Okay. So we'll show them here. This is the boys' bed. This is David and Sam's bed. And there's two cushions up there that actually came with the camper and it's fold to fold out table but we don't really use that and so we just take that and put it on the ground he has this cute little bed it's a perfect fits, size fits fit perfect it's like a crib mattress for corbin, for corbin. For corbin yeah so okay. he sleeps there and honestly he's most nights he ends up in our bed anyway so it's not a big issue and yeah. then we also have the ladder that comes off and on so if you need to like get in here, but then there's not enough room, and so the ladder just. But I added that ladder. Yes, that was added. Didn't come so with I bolted it. it and put the it boys in. were having a hard time climbing up into it, and then this Hannah is, and Jenna sleep here, and we put Mimi's bedding yep, over Mimi's there. Yeah, bed goes there. And as you saw, her bed just folds out into okay. the couch, and then Mom yeah, and Dad, we're in here. We'll show in. you our bedroom. So wait a minute. We got one, two, three, four, five, five six. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then this is yep. our bedroom. Go ahead. I'll show you guys that. All right, this is our bedroom. There's enough room, Tara. Yeah, yeah. There's there. room there. Yeah. Oh wow! So it's in. You can come in. It's a short queen, um, so it like barely fits us, <laughs> honestly. But um, it works really well. We store extra towels and um, our pajamas and things like that. Eric and I. And mm -hmm. that's Eric's closet. And then this is mine, which is okay. like packed as full as you can be. That was kind of hard deciding what to bring and not to bring, yeah. honestly. Um, well, it would be hard because this time of year we're filming this in March. But like in Colorado, it's freezing. We had cold oh, no. coats, so you you can't just not bring coats and exactly. stuff. Exactly. So it was really yeah. hard deciding what to bring and not to bring. And then we needed a printer, so we went ahead. He went ahead and put the printer on his side, 
uh, for school and directions and, and stuff like this. And now this is really cool. I'll show you this. It's a little messy, so I apologize. But this is extra storage, and it goes all the way back here. Oh, that's not very messy. And this is Corbin's clothes, our computer bags. Um, this kind of is a catch-all place, honestly. Um, we have his gimbal and just some of the maps and stuff we've been to. I scrapbook, mm -hmm. so I'm going to use some of the articles mm -hmm. to do that. So, but it's full of storage. So, so did you guys make this storage or was it? No, here? it came like that. We oh. didn't have these brackets though. And that was the hardest thing. Our old RV had it and it was a lifesaver because it's really so hard. It yeah. was so hard to lift it up without the bracket. So I had to spend. Yeah, we had to, okay. we had to purchase those. I would definitely recommend getting though if you have a bed that has um, access underneath it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So one thing I noticed was in, when you guys were doing, doing your videos, mm -hmm. you said you each get one tub yes. for your stuff. And yeah. so I wanted to see, see how you guys did that. Cause they that's pretty cool. Perfect. And they have space above and each one of us, well, this isn't our full tub. Our tubs are each this big. Oh, those are big. Yes. Yeah. And then these are extra oh. tubs that has Legos, blocks, and the community tubs. doll toys. And then this right here is my paints, but this one is like Corbin's. It has all his toys that he wanted to bring. And then Sam's got his own, and everyone has their own in there. And then we like to stack other things on top of it. And so we've got another box of blocks. And like I've got a painting easel, and we've got like a bag. And, and all that's under there. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. So there's just about <laughs> ten, t ten tubs underneath there. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Well, I was wondering how big the tubs were because I was like, okay, are they, you know, little tiny tubs or? But that's a good size. Yeah, and our books. We have some books that fit okay. perfect in there. And yeah. so, how long did it take? I mean, I, I want to look a little bit more, but how long did it take you guys to outfit this whole thing? I mean, well, in the process of. Yeah. Cleaning the house and packing and getting Fixing, ready for sale. Yeah. We also worked at the same time out here getting things ready. So we probably spent three weeks out here. Yeah. But a lot of that, unfortunately, wasn't working out here. It was shopping, trying to find the yeah, exact we size Yeah, we were trying top. to That's find the stuff yeah. to fit. Yeah, and then we'd go to Walmart, and they would have two of the tubs, so I had to wait until the next set came through. And then I would go and buy this, and then we'd debate. So it was a little difficult with that, but we were able to manage to get enough for everybody to have their tub. And so it's great, because when the kids want to play, they just pull their tub out, and they yeah. play, and it doesn't become a huge disaster. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, and actually, this would be a good idea just for families in general. Yeah. You know, I think about my son's room and the... The clutter. Yeah. The yeah. This yeah. is nice because with the little ones especially, they love to clean up, and there's nothing simpler in their mind to know that everything goes back in their yeah. tub. Yeah. And mm -hmm. They throw it back in yeah. and store it away. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, let's check out your bathroom. I want to see how. All right. so, okay, so we have two things left: how six people use a bathroom, <laughs> and how six people do laundry. Oh my goodness, that's a whole different ball game. Oh my goodness. I'll admit, I was commenting to you guys as I was watching your laundry show, and I was like. Guys, you're crazy. So, yes. So I the laundry's so definitely too. been a little bit more of a challenge than honestly I thought it would be. All right. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. I'll try to show you the best I can in here. So it's kind of a tight fit. So are you come in here. We have the shower, honestly, and it works great. And when we're traveling, we actually put the washing machine in here. And we can do the washing in here. But honestly, I've just found that it's easier to do it outside <laughs> and then just drain it out there. So... But it honestly, it fits us. It looks, and it's great because the bathtub works really well for the little ones. So I just fill it up and then all three of them at okay. a time, you know, one at a time. There's storage under here. Whoops. As everything falls out, um, is all like just shampoos and, um, hairspray and Q-tips and things like that. And then we have a medicine cabinet in here as well. I was going to say, where does so, everybody keep their toothbrush? We have a jar in oh, here. There, okay. The older girls yeah. don't like yeah. keeping their toothbrushes yeah. next to ours. So... <laughs> They say it's germy, so. I know, yeah. <laughs> so, but when we move, when we travel, we have to put everything in the sink or everything falls off the counter. Okay. So, we do kind of have, uh, people have certain jobs that they do, mm -hmm. so that when we move, um, certain things have to be in and out so that it doesn't, um, the slide comes in, one person has to make sure that the floor is cleared, and the other person has to clean off the counters and things like that, or the, the stuff. The jacks up and hook up the van. Yeah, if not, the whole, yeah. like, stuff falls, and it okay. becomes a big disaster, okay. so. Alright, so you guys have a cat, and I'm like, where's the cat box? And there it is. Oh, and there's the kitty. There. Oh. <laughs> kitty shot. Yeah. You're and famous. Your paparazzi is after you. <laughs> where the cat is standing now is underneath the um, sink. sink right there. There's tons of room that's left open. So also on order, I put a, another door we're going to put on the other side and I'm going to, once that comes in and we make our place, go back to Pensacola again, 
I'm going to put that door in and make even more storage on that side, too. Oh, that's a they good They just idea. left it as a wall, yeah, which is surprising. Just, we found a lot of open spots. Which... So, okay, so I have to say, one of your videos, you were like, where's the cat? So, where does, does she get out? Does she stay in here pretty good? Or? She's got out a couple times, but she doesn't ever run away. She we, just wants to explore. We couldn't find her uh, two parks ago. We were kind of freaking out. We were wondering where she went. She apparently has found a way to go in the inside of all the cabinets, and she literally goes all the way to the pantry... And we had to pull the drawer out. I found she her found under this drawer. Flashlights underneath there. So, and so and, that's like her home now. Yes, yeah, so she's, she's got it. like she this does. pathway. And it, and we can see the, her through here yeah, sometimes. So she's she stands in here and watches us. Trying to find her, it's so. a huge cat home. It's, it's like a, a big cat house. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You just hear her meow and you're like, where is she this time? <laughs> Where's the cat? <laughs> so, But then it closes the door and it's out of the way. But when she needs to use it, she just scratches at the door and she goes in. And this is a cat that's 15 years old. So, I mean, it's definitely... She's well trained as far as that goes. Yeah, so, okay. okay. So, on your refrigerator, this I was noticing. You're very. Are you a very organized person? I try to be. See, I try to be too, but it never works out. It's really difficult. But with six kids. I but. was looking. So I really like how you've got your family routine and your dinners. Everybody knows. Oh, is that you? That's and me. The routines of him, but the the meals are my part. So. Yeah, so I, here's a question: Do you guys stay with the routines? We try, but honestly, we. We fail. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I, the way I find it is if you don't set the routine in the first place, you have nothing to shoot mm -hmm. for. Yeah. But I'm that kind of organized guy. And at home, I mean, I have everything done on spreadsheets and organized yeah. and such. Yeah. Now, it's very... Right now, it looks like nothing because we're running out of time before we left. All these magnets are not just for fun. They're actually going to be... And these are dry erase ones. These are all going to be chore magnets. Oh, so we okay. can actually set up chore like Brexit. You'll notice some little... Teeth little brush. teeth ones here. Yeah, so that way it te tells the little kids to do brush your teeth today and they can mark it to the right spot. Yeah. But I haven't got to that point yet. We're going to print it out and put that stuff on the fridge. Yeah, just so you know, your kids brush your teeth every day, right? Of course. Yes. Okay, because we'll get comments about that. Well, what do they brush your teeth once a week? No, every <laughs> right. morning and at night. But this will just their... basically, instead of us having to tell them mm -hmm. brush yeah. your teeth, they'll know to check it's it off it. themselves. Yeah, yeah very exactly. good. Yeah, that's really smart. Okay, so now Mike was asking... Did this come with all the appliances and everything? And you were telling us a little bit. So you had looked. So this came with all the appliances. Right. Yes. Okay. So you said you had looked at another one, but that was more expensive. Yes. Right. It was 10000 more, and it had a double bunk in the back. But it had a bench seat, so it was not as, didn't sit all of us for dinner. But it didn't have as much detail and elegance to it, and it didn't have as much storage for... 10,000 more. So in this camper, besides having a wraparound dinette for us as a family, it's very important that we sit down for, for dinner, dinner. Mm -hmm. and it, you know, obviously we eat outside a lot, but not always a lot of times for breakfast, we'll eat here and we film it too for our channel. And having this wraparound was, was essential yeah, for us. Was. We really had to have that. Um, but that particular camper we're looking at, it wasn't about the price spending 10,000 more. It just wasn't very pleasing to the eye. Yeah, like it was just, it's it just... was kind of camperish looking. Exactly. And we right. wanted to be more a home. A home. Homing. Exactly. Yeah. And it was this, we walked in and we were like, wow, this really does feel like a nice, elegant home. And, and so, uh, it came with all the appliances and, uh, they work after we had a little issue with the oven. We fixed that. <laughs> Couldn't uh, lit. We, we, we <laughs> oh, uh, no. first few tries of that, we ended up having to take it back in, but they fixed it really quick for us. So it was no big deal. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we'll show you what the fridge looks like inside. So you can get like a typical gallon size milk jug in there. And I have a small pitcher that fits in the door for like lemonade. We make homemade lemonade. And then it's got the cheese drawers and the butter drawer and things like that. And then we keep all the fruits and vegetables and the, the thing over there. So And it's nice. We just set this on auto. And while we're plugged into the campground, it uses the campground electricity. But as soon as you unplug that, it automatically switches over to propane to yeah. keep you cold while you're driving. Too. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then the freezer. Now, the freezer's not huge, so that's been a little hard. I'll have to really plan out our, our meals for that. And um, so But, see, I mean, it's enough. So our week supply is starting to dwindle yeah, down. Yeah, it's starting it to, starts getting empty, to get down, and again. then we'll have to go in. So Yeah, cool. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, I want to go look at this whole washing machine. Okay. <laughs> But I'm just giving you guys. No, no, it's, it's <laughs> all. It's, I know. Um, it's like, what did I do? But I just think it's funny because people always comment to us, you know, I was yelling at you through the camera and I was like, I found myself doing the same <laughs> thing. I was like, no, no. But anyway, so do you guys have a plan? Like, is there a date when we have to find a house by this day? And if we don't find a house by this day, what are you going to do? Or are you just going to keep traveling until... You find, I mean, you we, know. The best way to say that is we have a tentative plan. Yeah, we do. We don't have a deadline. We have to have a house by this day. What we would like to do is have a house 
uh, buy we'll buy one in the spring. Yeah, this, like and like same thing. We're gonna buy. June, we're gonna July. pay cash, so we'll probably be able to um, close on it relatively quickly. Yeah, and then that's gonna be our homestead. And since we're looking at up north, probably Upper Peninsula, Michigan, there's a lot of snow. Our tentative plan, again, we may not end up in Michigan. Yeah, our tentative plan is to get there in the spring, actually plant garden, get as much growing as we can. And as it starts getting colder, maybe yeah. even a little bit after the new year, we're going to head back out in the camper and possibly go we're like a big, do a loop. And a then loop we're going to end up States. so that we can this next spring go into Alaska. Oh, so that's okay. our ultimate goal is to be up in that area um, when okay. summertime hits. So nope. here's the thing. We have a fairly good channel, size channel, and everything. What are you guys looking for if one of our viewers happens to have it for sale? You never know. So what are you Absolutely. looking for? It has to be at least at least 10 acres. It has mm -hmm. to be. That's the minimum of that. And it has to have um, three bedrooms and one bath. We can handle one bath. Cause, we'd like to have two. Yeah, we'd like to do two, but we um, can do one if we need to. And it has to be wooded. Because I mean, I want to have trees, I want trees, trees. Yeah. acres, trees, three bedrooms, right. anything else. And then the biggest thing is we want to be away from towns. Not that we don't love towns, but we want to have it so zoning we can yeah, build we can whatever build we like. No HOA. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. yeah. Exactly. see, I'm the same way. Our next house, I'm not doing an HOA. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because exactly. I want to be away from people. <laughs> yes. So yeah. I'm I mean, tired of neighbors. And then states wise, the biggest thing is we want to make sure we have a state that's lenient on homeschool Homeschooling. laws. Okay. And not that we don't homeschool top quality, we do. We just uh, it, it's it's hard for us to you know, have to show them, look, this is what we're doing, mm -hmm. even though we do that anyway. Well, we have to find a certified teacher to test exactly. them and go over what we did throughout yeah. the year, and then we have to calculate. Like I already called her and told her what our plan is, and so now I have to we have to make an extra trip down to Pensacola just for the kids to be tested. So oh, exactly. it kind of is an issue with that. So. Okay, so easy homeschooling laws: ten acres, three bedrooms. You want snow? I know that. Yes, right. Snow. And, and no let me put choice. it this way. It's not that we necessarily just want snow. We want to be in a cooler environment where we don't depend on AC okay. during the summer. That's really the big thing. Okay. We're, we're tired of the AC bills and tired of the heat. Okay. Just... So if anybody has that for sale, shoot us an email. Go over to their channel, out of Goshen, and shoot them an email. You never know. That's how Brad and Krista, big yeah. family, found it their is. house. So exactly. you never know. So if you guys have some. Okay, we're going to go check out this laundry. So this is the washing machine. Honestly, we don't stand in the back of the RV and do it like this. It normally goes in the bathtub, or a lot of times I just put it in the yard and I'm able to do that. It's really light. But this is how you transport it. Trans uh, no, honestly, we transport it in the, in the bathtub. Oh, okay. This, the bikes go here. Okay. This particular campground, we'd be okay with having it here, but this one, the way the angle of the yeah, RV is so high. It's so high. Okay. So. But having it back here is optimum because, because have, to fill it up, we, we actually have a have shower. It up or a shower. And this can actually just fill up. Fill so a lot up right of times there. we'll just put it like down here. Sometimes it's if we lower it low enough. Yeah. So nice. Okay. Okay. So we'll bring it down and yes. show us how this it's works. It's really light. So it's a lot of times Sam will carry it for me, so it's not an issue. But um, <laughs> it's really cute. It is really cute. As I, I, as I stored some stuff down in here, I'll show you. It's a lot of space. It is honestly. Um, I can fit quite a bit of clothes in here. So do you know how many like shirts you can fit in there, or, um, or what I, do you typically put in here? Do typically, you know? I'll do like um, one of adult jeans, and I'll probably put five kids outfits, a pair of pajamas, wow. um, and some socks and underwear, and, and that, and that yeah. washes it. And I put it on, and I typically do it for about 12 minutes. Um, and it washes it. Sometimes with the jeans, it kind of wraps things in balls, so I kind of have to hand like pull it so it doesn't uh, wrap it. But um, but with that, but the only problem with I would say is the draining, which is really cool. But you put it in here, and, but you can only do with that much clothes that you put in the washer. I probably have to do three spin cycles. Okay. So you take a, like a, the, just a pair of jeans and maybe a pair of socks or two because the jeans are so bulky, and you put this in here. And then you just close it, and it spins it all the water out of it. And okay. so, it, honestly, it's not drip dry at all. It honestly is like almost dry. On the most part, we could hang it up, and it probably would be dry that afternoon. Okay. Um, I've done a towels in it so far, and I have hung the towels out, and it actually works pretty well. So, with what that. are you gonna do for sheets and stuff? I don't know. You, you, you can get a laundry mat. A bed spread won't work. But yeah, the bed spread, but the sheets, sheets will do. And yeah, I'll just have to do a one at a time as far as washing them, probably with the kids. Yeah, exactly. I haven't, honestly, that's my. You haven't been on the road long enough, probably. That's honestly yeah. this week is to, to do sheets. So that's yeah. on my list to do. So so how do you dry? <laughs> so we were so talking about far, this. So <laughs> far, um, I really don't like crunchy clothes. Um, <laughs> so I will pay. Most of them have laundry mats, and so I'll pay the dollar. Sometimes the dollar fifty. I'll walk over, I have a dirty bag and a clean bag that I use. I'll take it over and throw it in 
and um, I'll wash it and then I'll come back or uh, yeah. from the wash. So you wash here and then you just dry there. I yeah, do. that's. So I've done easy. some towels and some other things, some scarves and different things like that. I've done and just hung them out on our drying rack. Well, and a problem which I was telling Ashley was that um, in humid climates here. I mean, we used to live in Kansas, so I know yep. humidity. You just did. It doesn't get dry. It you doesn't. can hang it for eight hours outside yeah. in the sun, and sometimes it just does not get dry. Yeah. Because it's just so. When the humidity is ninety-five, a hundred, you can't. You exactly. can't fight that. So yeah. yeah. So, so we really sometimes hard. have issues with that. So sometimes yeah. we've just found it to be easier so far to wash here and then throw it in there. That makes sense. Yeah. I think that's you know, and that seems pretty reasonable. And that is just a cute little thing. It is really cute. We've had a. Did you get it on Amazon? We did. It was like okay. hundred and nine. Yeah, hundred nine bucks, okay. and it's like less than thirty pounds, so it's really easy to lift up. Okay. So cool. we'll have a link in the description to our Amazon store, and we'll throw this on here. Cool, it is. I mean, actually, I you know I was joking with them. I was laughing because I was screaming, not screaming, but I was yelling. At I was Martin. watching. And I was yelling through the through the um, through the TV or well, not the TV, the computer to you guys when he was washing the muddy clothes. And, you cannot test it with muddy clothes like that. That is not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> And I just found myself talking to you guys. I'm like, oh, brother, Tar. That's the best way to test it, though. Yeah, exactly. Worst, yeah. worst like, oh, my goodness. <coughs> so did your muddy clothes ever get clean? They yeah. did. They did they? Okay. They, we had worked. to wash them twice. Yeah. But, I mean, they were, honestly, our kids don't get that muddy. So I was like, yeah. what did you do? So of all the things, he tried the worst test ever, and, and they did. And it worked. Good. Yeah, but I, I would definitely would have to spray the clothes off before to get the granules of the, the stuff Yeah, off, and pre-rinse stuff, exactly. you know, that yeah. kind of thing. People don't rinse enough. They, they expect don't. the dishwasher to take these huge hunks off. You know, you just can't. Come on, guys. You can't do that. So, exactly. okay. I'm going to show us right. your one other storage compartment here. It's what called, do you guys call this? This is the basement. <laughs> That's funny. And it goes completely from this side all the way to the other side. The other side has a door as well. Whoa. And oh, wow. this is the compartment Whoa. where you can see we keep our detergent. There's like actually a tub there that keeps like sports stuff in for the kids. And the other side, that's where we put all our chairs. But this is like, this is a huge compartment. There's so much room in here. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't realize these things had so much storage. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You could just buy one of these and live in it and travel. Yeah, yeah a lot of exactly. people do. Okay. Exactly. And we, we customize fit um, tubs to match in there so we could get the yeah. optimize yeah, for that exactly. as well. Yeah, we found tubs that fit. Yeah, we, he measured it and I had the job of going to the store and trying to figure which one could fit. You got the hard part. I did get the hard part. <laughs> Measuring is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> It was more than that. It was trying to decide if they had good edges, it was a good quality of a tub. Because sometimes they sell those tubs and they're junk. They fall apart. Yeah. But I had to measure. Thank you guys for showing us your tiny house on wheels. You're yes, welcome. Actually, You're welcome. It was I'm fun. kind of inspired thinking maybe we should try this. Come travel with us. Yeah, because you know, we're we're kind of in your your shoes. We wanna move, but frankly we're not quite sure where we want to move to. Exactly. You know, we exactly. we know where we don't want to move to. Exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> but we're not quite sure and Colorado's prices have just gone, which you guys know they tried to buy a house in Colorado. We did. Just... Colorado's prices have gone berserk. It's absolutely ridiculous. And so we're kind of like you, and I'm thinking, man, maybe we should travel around. So thank you guys. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Go on. subscribe out of Goshen. Subscribe, like, and share for us and them. Visit us at livingonadime.com, and we'll see you guys next time.